Good afternoon. Today we're going to talk about visualizing categorical data. Remember, categorical data are data that you can put into categories. They are your quantitative variable data. Okay? How do we visualize them? We can visualize categorical data by using a summary table. And what a summary table is, it's just another visualization that puts your categories, let's say we have soft drinks purchases, your Coke, Sprite, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, and diet are your categories of soft drinks. By grouping them, and calculating how many they are, because we can use the count or we can calculate the percentage. That is summary table. Or we can use a bar chart. And a bar chart also represents the categories in bars. So you put your bars as your categories and the height of the bars, how tall they are, will represent the count or the frequencies. Or we can represent it by using a pie chart. Pie chart, the slices of the pie will represent your categories. So you will have your individual categories and the size, how big the slice is, will represent your count or your frequency. In your module, you are expected to know these properties. You need to know what makes up a summary table, what makes up a bar chart, and what makes a, a pie chart. And we also need to know what are the three types of visualization in order for you to be able to answer the questions in the exam. Let's look at an example of our banking example because today we use banking as our example. So let's say for example I work at the bank and I know that we always have problems, we have long queues and all that. So I need to understand how if I need to move people around from one branch to the other in order to compensate for the workload of other branches that are overwhelmed with work. For me to understand that, I need to, understand, to know how many consultants or tellers do we have at each branch. So let's say I work in HR of the banking and I'm the manager there. I want to know that. So my analyst will go and create a summary table We'll go ahead and create the summary table. And there are statistical tools or Excel or any that they can create this. And they it will give me my branches. And they it will give me my number of consultants. This are my consultant pay. Hey branch. Consultants per branch. And I know that in branch A, there are only four consultants who works there. In branch B, there are 10 consultants who work there. In branch C, there are only two consultants who work there. And in branch D, there are only five consultants who work there. So in summary, I'm able to see how many uh, consultants I have in each branch. But sometimes a summary table is not as visual and clearer without you analyzing individually each number you see. So you can use a bar chart. So let's say we create the same information, but we, 
we want to use a bar chart. So let's create the bar chart. I'm going to create the bar chart of the same information. And I know this site will be my number of consultants as the number. And I'm going to create for branch A. There are four consultants there. For branch B, there are 10. Let's say 10 ends there. So this is for A, this is for B. For branch C, there are only two consultants. And for branch D, there are five consultants. There are five consultants. And this will be branch D. And graphically, I'm able to see what is happening here because I can see that there were four there, there were five there, there are two there, and there are ten there. And I can see clearly now that branch B has more than followed by branch D, then followed by branch A. And I can make the decision to move people from branch B. Let's say maybe in branch C they build shopping complexes around it. So now it means that mall is going to be, or that branch is going to be very busy. So with only two consultants and in branch B, some factories around it has closed. So it means they are no longer going to be servicing a lot of people. So they can move 10 people from there to branch C to accommodate for the new increase. And you can also do the same to create a pie chart. Remember a pie chart where the slices of a pie will represent So let's say this is 10 and this is 4 and this is 5 and this is 2 and we know which one they represent so 2 was branch C and 5 is branch D and 4 is branch A and B with 10. And also with the pie chart, you are able to see the distribution of your consultants because then you can see the bigger the slide, the bigger the number of consultants you have. So far, we have created a summary table by using the categories and getting the value. Now oh, we've created a bar chart which shows the bars representing the categories which are our branches and the height which represent the number of consultants. Now oh, we have created what we call a pie chart where the slices of a pie chart represent the branches themselves and the size of the pie will represent the number of consultants. Thank you for listening. Enjoy.